Are you like me and you've got an old iMac lying around? Maybe you've got a MacBook you don't use anymore. What about a Windows 10 PC that you just don't need? Well, here's how you could use it as a monitor for one of six Panasonic Lumix cameras. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about tethering. You can tether your camera to your computer and use your computer as a live view monitor for your camera. So if you've got one of these six cameras, then you can do it. I right now am shooting on a GH5 tethered to a 24 inch 2009 iMac. That's right, 2009. It's over a decade old and it's still capable of doing it. Here's my setup. I've got the GH5 on a tripod facing me. That is tethered to a 2009 24 inch iMac. You can see it here on this angle here. That allows me to have a live view of what's coming directly out of the GH5. The good thing about this system is you don't need any special cable. You don't need the HDMI port. You just use the cable that came with the camera. So in this instance on the GH5, it's a USB-C to USB-A. Conveniently, in 2009, there was no such thing as USB-C, so you won't be needing one of these. But obviously, if you're using a newer Mac, something like a MacBook Pro, which I use to edit on, you will, of course, need to convert that USB-A on the other end of the cable to a USB-C. To make this work, you're gonna need a piece of software. Now, there are a few options out there, but the option I'm using is not only free, but it's fully supported by Panasonic, and that's because they make it. The Lumix Tether application can be downloaded directly from Panasonic, and I will leave a link below the like button, so check it out for yourself. You can download it for either Windows or OS X, but there are, of course, some system requirements. So let's have a look what they are. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Tether. So if you are using a Windows PC, the system requirements seem pretty simple. Have you got Windows 10? Yes, then you can download it. Have you got anything lower than Windows 10? Yes, then no you can't. So you need a Windows 10 PC. On the Mac side, you're gonna need OS 10.11, which is El Capitan, which happens to be the last release available for the 24 inch 2009 iMac that I have here. So at some point it may not be supported any longer, but so far so good, it still works fine. Panasonic does state on their website that you should refrain from using OS 10.15, that's Catalina, that's the latest release. It has had some issues, although I have to say I have also used that on my MacBook Pro and haven't found any issues so far. Though they do detail a list of problems that have been found, so check that out if you're intending to use it on a newer Mac. So the benefits of using the Lumix Tether application, apart from getting a much bigger monitor for your camera, is that you can actually control the camera through the software. There's a control panel that lets you change most of the settings that you would need to while shooting. Of course, the added benefit of that is, if you've got a wireless mouse, then you can do it from across the room, meaning you don't have to touch your camera at all. So what settings can you actually change? Let's have a look. First and foremost, you can start and stop recording, as well as taking stills if you want to. Depending on the shooting mode you're in, you can control aperture, shutter speed, ISO, and white balance, as well as exposure compensation. You can also control the picture quality and the color profile, as well as the autofocus mode and the metering mode. I shoot in manual, so a couple of the other features are locked out, but they may be available in other modes. You've also got some settings you can change in the live view part of the application, which allow you to turn on things like grid lines, the level line and the histogram. You can also adjust preview quality and aspect ratio. One other feature that's available in the preview is that you can click to focus, which means that when this GH5 loses focus, 
which you've probably seen by now, it does occasionally, you can reset the focus by clicking on the preview. The application itself is very simple to install and it's also very small, so it's not going to take up a lot of room on your hard drive. So why not give it a go if you haven't before? Let me know in the comments down below if you try this yourself. If you like this video then give me a thumbs up. If you want more of this type of content then hit that subscribe button. While you're there why not hit the bell, otherwise I will catch you in the next one. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about tethering. Tethering. Tethering sounds like a character from Game of Thrones. I've never watched it. The benefits of using, using, using most of the settings that you would want to choose, change, play with, around with, do whatever. Depending on which shooting mode you're in, you can con, 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 con,